You know, my friends, it occurs to me that these are the moments in which heroes might be born. Moments of great strife, moments of, well, terror and doom, destruction. Like I said, we're a doom, double-decker doom Sunday here, considering we're down to our last three pips. Um, one of whom is currently running around completely terrified out of her minds for the next four days. The other two of whom are about to go ahead and welcome a new pipling into this village because that's a nice thing to do, isn't it? It's not a nice thing to do. It's a pretty cruel thing to do, especially considering the fact that we have a misfortune event tonight, followed by another sickness event that is around the corner because we have not yet destroyed the poisoned buildings, followed by another frozen event because we have not yet destroyed the frozen buildings and also the freaking spirit of cold is 21, 21 strength a day because of the level that it's at and the fact that we are indeed on a hard island. It's a very hard island. I'd say it's like, I don't know, diamond hard maybe, but at least, at least emerald or jade. I'm pretty sure I would chip my teeth on this island if I actually don't rot them out of my head first from the fact that everything is poisoned. <clears throat> In any case, my friends, welcome back to what may be, as I said, a moment where a hero could be born. Because it occurred to me as I watched all of this chaos unfold, perhaps this is the kind of era that a hero emerges. Because we will either go down hard, or this new pipling, who has just come to join our little village, may actually be the survivor who might make the most out of whatever we have left behind for them. Maybe. Perhaps. Unless this is... Okay. Are you really gonna attack the bit? Oh! Okay. Well then. Uh Look, Fire Phoenix, I understand if you thought that was like maybe a, a mercy kill, but literally had just been born. I'm kind of side-eyeing you a little bit right now, I'm not going to lie. You go over here and fish. Why I now have to go ahead and have touch cats dig yet another grave and they're I guess not, not, I mean, we didn't even get to name that one. <laughs> oh my gosh. That could have been the hero of the ages, I was hoping. But instead, this was the end result. Um, Fooey, didn't, didn't, I mean, I guess I kind of sort of could maybe see that coming. But I was hoping that my rallying speech would maybe give some insight into like, ah, oh, the heroes of the day rise. But instead, like literally, oh my gosh, a graveyard's po the new graveyard's poisoned. So if I use the new graveyard, it's going to be, are you kidding me? Okay, that's not going to work because then we're going to get poison and we don't want poison. So that means I have to build another graveyard up here that's not poisoned. Raya is like freaking out next to like the the dead child. Oh my gosh, I maybe I should be careful for what I say or else we're going to start pulling up flags on YouTube for the first time, which is not ideal. Um there's also a sickness event followed by a cold event followed by a fear event here. So I think this may be a sign, a scream of the times maybe. And at least this village might be about to finally be put to rest. I was gonna say that, like, it occurred to me if heroes emerge out in stories, out of, like, the eras where everything is difficult and hard, that kind of sucks, because, like, maybe you think you're born because your parents are in that time, like, when everything is brimstone and fire. They're like, even though it's so terrible, we still want to have hope that our little child will make it. Actually, it, it seems like they're like, we desperately need to go ahead and make sure that we have plenty of, um, are you guys gonna be poisoned now? Poisoned water, we lost five water. I can, uh, wow, somehow we're still gonna be able to carry on. Wow. 
and Raya is about to be done with the whole fear thing. And we're going to be cooking more and burying this, this kid and seeing if we can survive whatever this next thing is. I have no idea how we're still sort of stumbling along, but we are. Huh. But yeah, I was going to say, like, if you're born into that kind of like doom death time and some sort of fantasy story and you end up becoming a hero, that's one thing. But I feel like you would want to turn to your parents and the hero usually turns to their parents, even though I think it's an overdone trope. And their parents are like, oh, we always believed that there would be a better future for you. I don't think that's what these villagers think. I just think they're like, we need more people, more hands on deck. So that would be a little depressing as the hero to find out that, no, your parents weren't really like believing in a better future. They just wanted you to, like, stave off the worst. If you could. Wow. A cold snap. The temperature threat temporarily increases by one. I mean, all it can do is just get worse. <laughs> so, there's that. <laughs> okay. Um... Well, we have three villagers now. Raya is still distressed, but here. And now I guess, even though I really, you know what? I don't want uh, Fire Phoenix to become a parent again. So I'm gonna send Fire Phoenix up here to do some fishing. We're gonna see if we can welcome in a new child. As terrible, as terrible, as terrible as that seems. So, wow. On the one hand, the, as long as somebody survives through the apocalypse somehow. <laughs> Again, okay, hero round two. Raya, maybe maybe you could help us out with this? Are we... Somehow we're stumbling our way towards the memory beans, getting enough of memory beans for the cellar. Okay. No, I would really prefer it not be where everyone's hanging out together. Come on. Less fear. Please don't. You guys aren't... Oh my gosh. <gasps> Raya and Touch Cats are taking their newborn child and they're dipping. They're leaving behind Fire Phoenix, the murderer. Beware! Hachima <laughs> is coming soon! <laughs> Prepare for it, for it may be the end of the village. Fire Phoenix, you're gonna be... Cursed village. Watch 100 pips die as an achievement we just unlocked. Fire Phoenix, you are legitimately the only one left. There's not even a way for you to, like, get any kind of anything so i'm just gonna have you try to dismantle the poison you have enough cooked fish to survive a day or two can you even survive with one pip i don't even know if that's like viable we just have the the bodies tossed to sea in the graves left to kind of stare at us i keep waiting for those to turn into skeletons i mean what else is there to do but just try to stave off what we can? The Doom event's coming and we can't really do anything about it. But Fire Phoenix, this is amazing. I feel like because they have been left since they murdered that, that little one, then I, I feel like that's why Fire Phoenix is on their own. Because we might have been able to squeak a little bit further but now, oh Fire Phoenix, are you gonna are you gonna make it so that this just the sickness threat health decline has permanently increased by one? I can't believe we have one pip left. This is this is a true castaway story now, because. 
other than what I can only assume to be is the ghost spirit of the captain. Like, Fire Phoenix is the only castaway left. Abandoned by the few pips who were decided it was better to go and risk their lives trying to, to like, flee than to stick around with a murderer. <laughs> and with only the captain, like, the, the spirit of the captain, I'm gonna say, for company, because at this point, I don't think he's been very effective. We find ourselves here. If Fire Phoenix freezes, like, in some sort of cold event right now, no one can cure them, and it would just be days of painfully watching them expire. Fire Phoenix, you better hope it's not you. Cold decline. Temperature threat increases permanently by one. So just everything's getting colder. The risk of, of illness and health declining is... Oh, and now another one of the graveyards is poisoned. I... I don't know. I guess we'll have to destroy several of the graveyards and rebury some pips and just ride out day after day. How is this even happening? We need to do some fishing soon too because like Fire Phoenix is going to run out of raw fish. Oh, and now another one of the graveyards is poisoned. So the land itself is becoming poisoned. My jaw is just on the ground. I I don't know what to say, Fire Phoenix. Maybe this is justified because of the, the whole murder of the little kid thing, but still. Okay, so here's another sickness event that we could not escape because, like, literally it seems like the ground itself has become poisoned. And I guess the dead bodies are going to pop out. Oh my gosh, literally the ground itself has become poisoned. And all of the graves are poisoned. The thinking tree is now poisoned. Poisonous life. We have one villager left on this poisoned land. And today is the day where I need to have Fire Phoenix gather more raw fish or else they're not going to have enough to cook and, and like save themselves. I can't believe we've made it this far. Oh, and now Fire Phoenix is dishonest and stunned. Need for pause. They're stunned and dishonest. So now everyone has f has flown away and run away because Fire Phoenix is actually dishonest. This pip never pays taxes and still complains about the government. <laughs> I mean, I'd complain about the ruling um the ruling state of the world too right now. Okay, and now Fire Phoenix has, like, today's day of food. They might starve before they can get back up and make food. If this cataclysm doesn't kill them. This is amazing. Are we somehow going to at least learn about cellars? Because... Ironically, if those get destroyed, that will help us a lot. Because we kind of need, we kind of need like a lot of those buildings to go away anyway, because seven buildings are crumbling. What does it mean to crumble? I, crumbling. The buildings we have today can be very sturdy, but in my day, we did not have the luxury of time. We just scraped together a few pieces of wood and called it a day. And you need planks to cure it, but guess what? If those those buildings get damaged, that's okay for us because then we'd be able to have some of the frozen buildings get off our back. Arg, Pips, one more of these failures and we may be finished, Captain. You're literally like talking to a ghost island right now. I think we might have we might make it this time. Touch cats the spirit of touch cats is talking to us. 
Okay, we're just gonna go ahead. Yes, the, the, we're gonna let the ghosts talk to each other because this is just ridiculous. Oh, the captain's face is all red because he's angry. Does the apocalypse start sooner now? Are there like, oh, no, I guess that would be, just be the doom era. The next season's be ready, like, be ready for what? The, uh, uh, the village is doomed today. I think this is the end. Like, I can't believe that he was like, oh, it's gonna happen. We're gonna bake it because no, no. Instead, huddling at the edge of this cursed land is Fire Phoenix, the dishonest murderer who is the only castaway left upon this island. My jaw's on the ground because, uh, I mean, at the end of the day, what a story. What a story. Oh my gosh, I don't have to let her starve. I say you can eat that. Um, let's see, food, raw fish. Yeah, 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 eat the raw fish. Okay, all right, yeah. But the doom event's coming. Is this the cold death of the universe again? It's like we learned nothing. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we actually got points for Cellar. Fire Phoenix, there is some deep irony in you dying off to the cold and the village being destroyed by the cold. Death of the universe. The icy death of Fire Phoenix themselves. Rest in peace. I don't know if I should say my friend, but perhaps when you are reborn as the poisoned, cursed land that's crumbling and frozen for all time, got the best of this captain. Wait a second. It did not end like that, no. I think the story was a little different. Let me start again from the beginning. Oh, Captain. Wow. I am amazed that that, that happened. I, like, okay, good events happening and domains vanquished would be really great things to work on um wow wow okay there we go new high score with the captain will we be able to beat that my friends only time will tell however i have to say that was absolutely fantastic to have Fire Phoenix die at the very end as we contemplate sellers upon a poisoned, cursed, frozen land where all of the things that our, our castaways had tried to build were crumbling around them. What a story. Let's go ahead and peek at whatever a seller might be, just so we know what this memory earned through literal blood, sweat, poison, and tears of a doom 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 triple layer doom sunday sandwich <laughs> let's go ahead and see what we've earned because at least we've learned a lot of things so cellar it adds storage and produces cold would you look at that yeah cold the one thing i really want right now huh we dug these cellars underground where the ground was coldest i see yes i really want cold Ooh, insulated cellar i'll take that one wait no that one's actually more cold <laughs> We stuffed the sides of these cellars with all sorts of things, just to see what would work better. For some reason, it was the same flour that bakers used for bread. <laughs> okay, well, we know about cellars now. And next time, we might find out about advanced quirks for our piplings. Wow. That was awesome. I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye-bye.